Hey, welcome back, guys. So we are getting close to the end. Now, we just need to be able to edit the axis of some of these members. Now, where we are saving the axis uh, information is inside group members. So if I click on the table, you will see that there's raw here and raw is equal to member, unsurprisingly. Now here, we can change this to something else like maybe moderator or admin. So how exactly do we do that? Well, the same way when we click remove, I want the same thing to happen when we click edit access. So let me come back here to the actual file name that is a user group member dot include, which has the edit access button. So the same way I have added this link here, I will copy that info and put it on this other link because it's quite similar. Now, instead of remove, we're just going to say, of course, edit access with an underscore there. So edit access to this user right there. So it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Now, if I refresh my page, so I want to make Mary uh, an admin so I will click edit access now as you can see nothing has changed but uh, the URL has changed because now we have edit access over there so now I can go to the group content members file and right here where I was putting all these if else statements and I can easily put another one so are you sure this is more like what we need so I'm going to duplicate this one put an else statement there like this and now instead of remove we're going to have edit access like that easy peasy right so I'm going to copy everything that's on here and paste it here so are you sure you want to change the access but we're going to do a shortcut here just to say change access with a two double question marks. Okay. Or we can just say change user access without the question marks there. Okay. So usually in this case, it's a good idea to warn, to give a warning and say something like uh, changing access may lead to loss of uh, group access. So I'll put a div class there, like this, just to put a warning there. And I'm going to say warning, giving users admin access <coughs> uh, let's see. What does that message usually say? Uh, warning. Giving users admin access also gives them the power to remove you as admin. Maybe something like that, you know, some scary warning of some sort. And let's add some styles and say something like, uh, I want it to be scary. So I'll say background color. Uh, let's put orange, orange is scary enough. And then let's put uh, color as white, the text color that is. And then let's add some padding of, uh, just so it's big, 1M. And then I will add uh, some text align for the center like that then I will move it closer there so we can easily see it okay so let's see what we've got shall we and there we go warning giving users admin access also gives them the power to remove you as admin just so you know you know now we couldn't find the user here so of course uh, that's because we are checking in the wrong place 
we're supposed to check in the edit axis okay and there we go so warning giving users admin access blah 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 so at least there's fair warning here and then down here I now have to just add something like um, let's say right here a selector so I'll say select and then the closing select tag like so and then inside that I will put some options so option now the first option should always be member just in case just in case you click um, why am I writing member there it's supposed to be option okay Mm -hmm. so admin should be last so you have to actively select it moderator yeah something like this so member so you can design it as you wish maybe not there let's see what we we get there okay so let's add a bit of styling and also mm, okay so this is gonna be a little bit different because we have to send some information and for us to send some info we are going to need uh, to do a post yeah we're going to need to post so this depends on uh, what you want to do you could use javascript to simplify the process here but i think we're just gonna need to post so let's add a name there so we're going to put a name there and say uh, rank raw let's use raw because that's what is in the in the table so let's use let's create a style here as well i'm going to say uh, padding 10 pixels let's add a fixed width of 120 pixels maybe and uh, let me save that and refresh and see that okay maybe a bit too much uh, let's try 150 there and five pixels there refresh we are getting there maybe another break tag will do here and let's just go to 200 shall we okay much much better so now we have that okay now in order for this to post we need this to be a uh, form so i'm going to put a form tag here like so and make sure that uh, the method is uh, post oops I need a single quote there okay so meth method is post and then at the very end I'm going to close uh, maybe I will close the form right here because the only thing I really need in the form is this and I also need the user uh, the user ID so I'm going to add an input here of type uh, hidden like so and then the value is going to be the user ID, which is that right there. So copy that and put it there. I will remove the single quotes. I don't need them. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, this is a single quote thingy. So I'll put a single quote there, dot, dot, single quote. All righty then. Now, uh, HTML special chars is important for these things sometimes uh, to avoid being hacked. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so I think that's all we need. So now we have a name. Oh, I need a name for this. Name is going to be user ID. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, so looking good. Now, 
the only thing that remains is to actually post now remove or change here will be our button here so i will move the form i should have moved that should have known move the form ending part to the very end here because i want these buttons also to be part of it and the console will remain with uh, a link but we don't need a link for this other one the, i'll change it instead of remove it will be change or save maybe that's better and type will be submit okay very good all right so the only thing now we need is to be able to submit and actually change that role we'll do that in the next video